Hello and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4. Last we left off, we finally reached the area where the... Oh, this is super close. Well, we're not going to make it. The third region and... What's it called? The Dry Steps and the beginning of the third act. We met Lorath and he told us to speak with Terkin. Tekrin. It's been a few hours. The game is actually coming out for general release in an hour and a half. So hopefully, considering how smooth the early access was, the uh, subsequent release will also be smooth and we won't be desynced. Um, I also kind of changed the... Uh, apparently you can go in and like change... Um, plugging all kinds of things. You can change appearance, appearances and stuff in the wardrobe. And I kind of didn't like the helmets, so I removed it. I also made the color scheme match. Um, do let me know if you want to see something else. But uh, I think this looks good. I think this looks appropriate to the region as well. Probably switch into like winter clothing when we get there. <laughs> if, if I can be bothered, I might just stick with this. Uh, the survivors of Gulruan have settled in the makeshift camps to the west side of town. Ked Bardu doesn't have the resources to build quick enough to house a scurrying population. Okay, that's slightly weird. Leave. Travelers beware! Alamun, do not travel through the Ashen Thread in the southern sacred coast without mercenary escort. A horrific demon calling itself Alamun scours the area for its sex next victim. Okay, I do want to say last episode, which was a few hours ago, we talked to Flora. And of course, Elias was his apprentice. Uh, I mean, it works, I guess. I'm guessing that was the person who wrote the journal all those episodes ago. Oh, we can sit on chairs. Let's, let's. I have now found a new pastime to sit on every single chair. Can we sit on benches? No. Can we? Are there any more chairs to sit on? This is important. <sighs> anyway, um, of course it's his apprentice, and the there was someone in the journal who was reading forbidden knowledge. Where is that? Over here in the Herodic Vault. So I'm guessing that was Elias. Interesting. It couldn't be Lorath's buddy. At least it's not his brother <laughs> or his son. <laughs> okay, Tekrin, what's up? Lorath sent me. Have you heard from the Orberi Monastery? <sighs> no, no word from Orbe. Same as yesterday and the day before. But I have something else. Rumor has it a pale man passed through the Abaru Canyon some time ago. Fearsome fellow, dressed in black. After Lorath's performance last night, I wager he'll want to know. All the crying and worry of Guran survivors are scaring off buyers. Let's have some compassion. I would rather have coin. I remember this is where I changed things. So this is the... Uh where is the... I thought I had one that had default stuff. But basically the default looks like this. I mean, to be fair, it is an absolutely insane look. Oh, actually, the, the helmet is kind of insane looking. But, like, without the helmet, it actually looks pretty good. Maybe going with the default is more interesting, but, uh... I don't know, I like this. I think it looks good. The innkeeper. Have the mercenaries been helping? The mercenaries are decent with a blade. But those greedy canyon adders are always raising their prices. Nobody should have to pay for safety. <laughs> Why is it so busy here? Aye. Since bandits blocked the pass in the south, babbling merchants have been haunting my... <laughs> oh, so he's making coin. All right, so he's happy about the situation. Have you any news of Kedbardu? Oi, make your stay in Kedbardu a short one. New faces tend to bring new problems. I see. The locals even avert their gazes, but at least we're safe here. Hmm, I guess he's one of the merchants. Looks very dusty. All right, Lorath. I bore witness to Lilith's evil in Skull's Glen. Oh yeah, because we finished those two, we can actually do them. So let's begin with Fractured Peaks. Inarius's stupidity never ceases to amaze. 
Had he not murdered Rasma, Lilith might have been stopped. But now, now she has the key to hell. We can assume she'll be looking for a door. Yeah, it is. I am curious what would have happened if Rothma would have lived, but eh. I bore witness to Lilith's evil in Skull's Glen. Oh, Donan. The poor fool never could have guessed that Lilith would come for Astaroth, let alone offer his boy to it. But what did she buy in return? Well, she bought safe passage. Astaroth hails from the realm of hatred, same as she. Perhaps she left something at home. Okay, well, at least he's kind of on the right thing. I'm guessing she's going back to hell. To, like, rally forces. Well, maybe he actually brought her something, because she was there. Um, but I'd, I'd assume it was safe passage, so... I'm assuming it's political. Tekran had no messages, but... Strange. I wrote to the Orbe Monastery the day I arrived. The abbot should have replied by now. Tekran spoke of a rumor. A pale man seen near the canyons. The canyons? Why didn't you say so? We go at once. Ugh. But we can't leave Orbe unchecked. Sod it. I'm off to the canyons. You can meet me there or go to the monastery. You seem reliable thus far. Do not prove me wrong. Bro, we've, we've saved thousands of lives by defeating multiple demons and... We've been chasing Lilith. All right, whatever. What do you want with the Orbe Monastery? The scholars of Orbe devote their lives to the study of forbidden knowledge. To serve the light, we must know the darkness. Or some other silly platitude. I wrote to the abbot seeking insights on Lilith. His silence is most unusual. The man never misses a chance to speak. I don't know. It seems like they're kind of like the Haradrim. It's kind of weird that he holds them in contempt. Isn't part of the Haradrim learning about demonic things so that they can counteract them? Why would Elias summon Lilith? Is he insane, you mean? Elias was an exceptional mage. He would plunge through fire and shite in search of the truth and very often found it. Whatever truth he has found in Lilith, only he can say the why of it. Well... He might be convinced that humanity is doomed without Lilith's interference. I really like the different animals. Look at that rooster. I saw it fly before. Will you fly for me? No? This is important gameplay footage right here. Only the highest quality from me. No flying. All right. We got an ability point. Question is, what do we spend it on? Maybe another level of class cannon? Yeah, let's do it. We do 12 extra percent damage now, but we take 6% more damage, so it's kind of scary. Might have to get some sort of protection ability after this. Unsure. So, once again, we have two different quests. I think this one is closer. Hmm. Meet Lorath in the canyon? Yeah. Or... Send it going to the monastery. Let's let's go to the canyon because it's closer. Apparently there is a portal town like here. <laughs> and I, I missed it. Like if I'd gone this way, I probably would have reached it. So that's a bit frustrating, but it is what it is. I like the music change. The music here is really good. Bam. Any statues to Lilith? Altars to Lilith? Hmm. There's supposed to be an altar right there, so we're gonna go get that. Let's see what kind of event there is.
Alright, let's kill the Doom spawn. I feel... I feel like we're doing a lot of damage, but yeah, taking the damage is, um, tough. To say the least. Yikes. Hmm, we got better equipment. So this gives us fire resistance, dexterity. This gives us firewall, which I don't care about. Ball lightning, which I don't care about. It is more armor, though. I think we'll hold off. This is just resistances. We actually got three different armor types. All right. So, where am I? There I am. Lilith. I need time to Very nice. Do we still have Vigo's amulet? No, we replaced it with the other one. I don't quite know how I feel about that. I kind of wish we'd had. Well, we still have Vigo's amulet. We still have Vigo's amulet. So we can always equip it later if we find like a helmet that's a legendary. That would be very nice. But um, honestly, like one of the best things about the shrine is <laughs> the increased movement speed. <laughs> I really like that. All right, die. Do we even regenerate HP nowadays? Oh, we do. Slowly, but we do. Yep. Why can I not get that? Oh, I had to break the thing. Almost at the canyon. Those little foxes. Little desert foxes. Or I guess this is more of a steppe than a desert, perhaps. P the dry plains, right? So. Well, this doesn't look good. Hello, Laura. What have you found? I had hoped to find a witness who saw Elias. Instead, I have a camp of dead merchants. They were slaughtered by demons, that much is plain. But none were summoned here. We should search the canyons. Could Elias have summoned these demons? Easily. And assuming he did, he may still be here. Stay close to me. Do we get Lorath as a companion? We do. I wonder if there's like some sort of interaction that we can do. Oh yeah, we can view the profile. Cool. We still don't have any titles equipped. Healing well over there. So we're supposed to head there. Okay. Let's just kind of run through them shout your rejection no mother of mine at her towering session rips to the shrine that is probably a clue torn notes hmm well, I took a picture of it for later <laughs> maybe I'll figure it out I'll google it <laughs> I can't be bothered quite yet Stone Carver lives in this house. A man called Ganbar. It's hidden, isolated. Perfect for working in solitude. Reminds me of your house. <laughs> Out of mana once again. No dead people around. So. Oh, give me the... Good. Oh, this doesn't look good. They're coming to a hell rift. I will close it. Put them down.
I feel like there should be a timer for this as well. Maybe a steamer face? Yeah, because now it's picking a boss. Too easy. These demons were vermin. I'd expect more from a mage of Elias's ability. Let's search the house. Well, that seems like you're kind of tooting your own horn there, Lorath. I'm pretty powerful. I did defeat Asarath, or whatever his name was. It always sucks that these kind of things always drop like regular equipment like this. Like, there's never any legendaries. Well, not never, but it's so low and it doesn't increase with like levels. What was that? Okay. The Carver's House. Tread carefully. Elias could still be close. See what you can find. Demonic scroll. Scrolls of incantations for summoning of minor demons. Drawings resemble the four-legged demons in the canyons. Can we inspect the book here? Today, Master Elias called at my door. Uh-oh. I had trouble with my words, so I showed him my carvings. He said he could see my pain in them. The pain of a lonely man who had learned to hate the world. The remains of fine stone statues and yet, smashed to pieces. Our mother, Lilith, found me beautiful. He said there are others like me as well. And together, we will build the new world. That's not good. Dead villager. Bloody statue. An expertly carved statue of Lilith covered in blood and viscera. What a damn mess. Disgusting. Poor Lilith. Poor villager. Laura, here's what I've found. Burning hells! We're too late. Elias is long gone. This Genba is our summoner. How can you be certain? Isn't it obvious? Elias finds Genba alone, friendless, full of anger. So he plays him like a fiddle, offers him Lilith's love and a part in his grand delusion. Then he gives him tools to express his anger. Summoning scrolls. Very perceptive. <laughs> Who knows how long Gamba is stewed in this madness? Let's hope he can still be questioned. So I'm guessing that is going to be a boss battle. That'll be exciting. How far away is that? Oh, it's super close. I think we'll try to include it in this episode. Oh, mother. Thank you for opening my eyes. Your hatred fills my heart. I cannot stop my hands from working. Gamba, you That's pretty cool. Fool. Is this going to be the first boss battle where Lorath actually help? Will we actually have a companion with us? Or is he going to be incapacitated somehow? He's probably going to be incapacitated somehow. Let's be honest. That's how things go. Oh, lots of stuff. Are those? Yeah, they're a bit less PG than the uh, cinematics show. Thank you for sending Master Elias. To show me the way, I long for the day when we stand by your side and set the cleansing fire. Okay, so the strange house in Abaru Canyon is abandoned but littered with carvings. Yeah, it seems the carving on this Gambar may be responsible for demonic incursions. That's right, so let's speak with Gambar here, worshipping the statues. Gambar. Visitors. <laughs> Did Master Elias send you? Please say yes. Master Elias? Well, yes, in fact, he did. Ours is a very important mission. 
We have something for the master. But we had heard he was with you. Do you know where he is? Liar! Dirty pig's born liar! The master has all he needs! Oh shit. Can escape. Master Elias, hear me. Your enemies are here. Lorathna, I have waited a very long time for this. I have a gift for you. That is a proper demon. Watch your eyes. That was a waste of uh It's kinda cool that we're fighting two bosses at once. I like that. Ah, uh, come on. Good. We killed the demon. Easy. I'm not ready yet. We defeated the Gembar and the demon. What happens now? Bad news first. Gembar was expecting someone. It seems Elias has turned others to his madness. Taught them to summon too, I'd wager. You heard Gembar. The master has all he needs. They're about to do something drastic. And the good news. <laughs> Elias gave us a gift, remember? This demon he sent to kill us, it is unique. It requires constant feeding, human sacrifices in fact. If I cut open its belly, someone inside might hold a clue. Tell us where it came from. I must have it brought to Kedbardu for examination. Make yourself useful and head for the Orway Monastery. See what's keeping that bloody abbot. I wonder what he'd say if you'd already done that. Probably like, meet me at blah blah blah. Why would Elias target the Dry Steps? The Dry Steps have no Cathedral of Light, no Druids. And their capital city, Gulran, has been sacked. Many are vulnerable, just like Genbar. We must learn what Elias has planned for them. Hmm. I'm guessing they were at war with some other kingdom. You knew Elias. How has Lilith corrupted him somehow? Elias had a talent for persuasion. Convenient trait for Haradrim, given our dealings. But he could be... Relentless when he wanted something. Even cruel. In that way, he and Lilith are similar. Suffering. Bloodshed. To them, these are a means to an end. They will bring out the worst in each other. Hmm. What was that? So, we are going to travel to the Orbe Monastery to speak with the abbot. We have more to share about Elias. I'm just going to double check that there aren't any altars here. Let's see. Okay, there is apparently an altar real close. I like, see, I like this out zoomed out view. I think it's kind of good. Allows me to teleport far. So we are going to climb up here. I wonder if Lorath would have said something if we brought him up here to the altar. Okay, so there is actually an altar here. So I'm going to go get that, but I will do that off camera, I think. And I'm going to end the episode here. We have begun the uh, third act properly with this episode. And we will continue to do so next episode. So I hope you guys join me for that. 
if you are interested in more Diablo 4 content, I'm uploading regularly every week until the campaign is over. And I believe I'll be doing some endgame content after that. So do stick around for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, leaving likes, you know, small channel. Every like is proportionately very important to me. So would mean the world. Anyway, hope you join me next time. Take care. <laughs>